guys, welcome to a new series on the channel. This is Total War Warhammer 2, brought to you by Shadow. We are going to be using Skaven, and we're going to be using Quick Headtaker. The initial challenge is hard, and the difficulty we will be playing on will also be hard. It's faction effects. Quick steals some XP from other lords. Um, he has minus two for grace here recruits. They are the other lords. Skaven have a loyalty um, mechanic for them. He has plus 10 melee attack and plus 10 weapon strength when fighting against dwarves and greenskins. Minus 50% upkeep for storm vermin and clan rat units, which is nice. And he gets two menace below abilities. He'll have a warp fire thrower, a rat ogre, and a storm vermin with halberds to start with. Without further ado, let's jump on in. Deep under the world, they chitter and plan. Watching, waiting. Skaven, a ravenous horde of verminous ratmen. They gnaw at the roots of the world like an infected wound. They mean to rule over ruins, for such is the will of their god, the great horned rat. Only the island home of the High Elves remained unscathed and at its center is the great vortex a swirling maelstrom that siphons chaos from the world the skaven covered its vast power with envious beady red eyes Twin-tailed comet is oft seen as an omen, but this time its wake has disturbed the winds of magic. In the secret halls of the Under Empire, the Council of Thirteen has gathered. A time to scheme of opportunity. City. No, no! Clan Wars go to South Front! Hunt for Wolfstone! Moors are puppet minion! Pestilence infest Lustria! Yes, yes! But all Wolfstone for Council Plan! Come, Scribe Slave! Work to do! Comet makes elf things weak! Council wants power! Vortex. And to be just as the prophecy demands. <laughs> so it too. You read markings on a black pillar. Then you know we must seek find the screaming one. Find out how to control the vortex. Oh, oh yes, Master. But a large tribute of warp stone will that demon require if, if we summon him. <laughs> Return to your assigned clan. Harvest Warpstone. Yes, most precipitous of masters. And flee yourself your impertinence. Oh, it will be done, your worship. Okay, guys, so we are Queek Head Taker. We are Clan Moors. We need warp stone, yes, yes. <laughs> Squirt musk of fear, vermin, for the head taker comes before you. I had mission from council itself. That's how important I am. Um. <laughs> Southlands under attack from old things. 
clan wars sent to do kill elflings and find warpstone. <laughs> warpstone essential. Faint. Elflings come from sea fortress. In time, take that back too. It's a good base for quick rage. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Fight elflings. Kill elflings. More stuff. More heads. More glory for quick. <laughs> Okay, so here we are on the campaign map, how they play. Uh, Skaven settlements aren't visible. Um, you have to kind of scout them out with your heroes, or you can just send an army in and hope that they are not sort of inhabited. Uh, Skaven require food to pretty much do anything, so their settlements use food, their armies use food, um, you get food by killing people, and uh, you can get special buildings. Um, I'm not sure how uh, sort of how many there are though. We spread corruption. Um, the more corruption we spread, uh, the more menace below that we can get. But the more corruption, it affects our public order. So you've got to kind of keep it in a balance. So. Here we go. I'm at war with... Uh, make it better. Construct the lair, which I believe is that upgraded. Yep. So we will set that to construct. And capture and occupy a settlement belonging to the Fortress of Dawn. We get a thousand treasury and eight warp stone, which go to our... Um, what are these called? Rituals. I knew that. So, I guess the first order of business is go and kill this army here, and then go for Dawn's Light. So, let's have a look at the Skaven Corruption. So, at the moment, it is extremely low. Not giving us any menace below, uh, but we have got plus eight public order. So, we do need to start spreading corruption. Let's look at the technology. We obviously can't. It's quite big. Um, we can't obviously upgrade, get anything, because we haven't done anything yet. Diplomacy, Clan Mordkin at Teotiqua. Uh, Clan Molda at Caverns of Sotek, which we do want because it's a ritual resource site. Where else are these? Latlan, which are a Lizardman faction, which actually I would like to get a non-aggression pack with. I don't really feel like moving north at the moment into their lands. I'd rather stick to taking out Dawn's Light, Scraghole, and Tor Serpindar. So, let's get into it. Let's see what we can do. So our stance is ambush stance immediately. So luckily we're just going to ambush them. Um, we've got four uses to the menace below. And let's just jump in and see what damage we can cause the elf things. <coughs> Sorry about that guys. So, Battle of Dawn's Light. Let's see if we can completely wipe this army out. So, they're there in the middle. So, put my Storm Vermin here. My Clan Rats here. My Warp Fire Thrower. My Rat Ogres. And Queek. In fact, I'm just going to put them in one line. No, group. And then I'll group attack. My rat ogres and queek can come from this side along with my warp fire thrower. So let's attack. You get in, you go there. Warp fire thrower, come here. So Skaven are quite weak, but they just basically 
mass attack. So, Rat Ogres are in. They are up against Spears, though, so that isn't a great little... Not intelligent, what I've done. But... My what fire throw gonna actually attack? Look at them with the little canisters on their back. Come on. They do not want to attack. Yeah, get that one. Yeah, there we go. Rat Ogre's really making a mess. They've took some damage though, but 51 kills, I'm not... Where's Queen? Get this guy. Oh my god, that rat just threw himself. <laughs> get him! Get him! Come on, Dave the Clan Rat, get him! She's running. She don't want no part of this clan rat. <laughs> um, I can spawn some more clan rats with the Menace Below ability. Which is really nice for like ambushing archers and stuff. Um, I am going to leave it there. We have kind of wiped them all out. So decisive victory for the Skaven Horde. 17 losses, 1,009 deployed. Like I said, the Skaven are basically... Yes, yes. Quick always wins. So, there we go. We've got five food, so we're at plus three growth, which is nice. Queek's leveled up. So we can enslave them and get two more food, or we can just replenish. I'm just going to replenish, because I just want to keep moving on. I want to go and take Dawn's Light as soon as possible. Uh, I can go and finish this off. So ambush again. I'm just going to auto-resolve it. And I'm going to get more food. And then some loot. Nice. I'm going to enslave them. And then I'm going to force march over to here. Because next turn I want to take Dawn's Light. So, battle reports obviously, decisive victories, rank gain for Queek. So, Queek's sort of skill tree, you've got. Uh, this for buffing him. Obviously, red line for buffing your troops. Blue line for buffing kind of hero abilities and stuff. Uh, oh, that's nice. Warpstone weapon. Extremely distrustful. Leadership plus eight for Lord's armies, but again, minus loyalty. Ooh, that's nice. Crimson Guard. Especially because he gets... Um... Okay, well, we're going to go Tail Weapon. And then we're going to go Blade Master for him. So, three turns and that's done. Uh, I'm going to end the turn and just kind of see what happens, see if the Fortress of Dawn come towards me, but I don't think they will. I'd quite like um, the Affection Encounter Man Black Tribe. I don't know what that is. Search any ruined settlement for treasure. I'd quite like these to kind of go sort of towards the Golden Tower and Temple of Schools. 
because I want to take this little region for myself. So, Dawn's Light. Okay. Right, so, I've got four uses of the Menace Below already. Um, we're going to take quite a few losses, so, if I... No, I'm just going to keep it at four, because if I put more into Menace Below, my food goes down. So, we're just going to go in. I have got sort of Queek, so I can use Queek to do a lot of damage, hopefully. Obviously, not an ambush, because it's a settlement building. Well, no, it's a settlement, not a settlement building. So, my Storm Vermin will do that. I'm just going to try and what I'll try and do is come from a few different sides so we'll move them right up when the clan rats are available I will spawn clan rats in behind them cause some confusion so sort of 15 seconds and then I can spawn them in Uh, they're on the move. Why are they moving? Okay. Oh, are they coming to see my rat ogres? Is that what they're doing? Okay, so let's spawn some clan rats right behind them. So, clan rats are nicely in behind these archers. We'll, okay, we'll get in with this queek on these archers. We'll bring these over here, get this rat ogre in. Get these two in. Right, so we're gonna envelop them. Warp fire throwers just doing its thing. Rat ogres coming in. We've got another use of this. May as well pop that in. There we go. Probably won't be able to fire with the wall fire throw because hey, hey, get this archer. Get him. Morale's going for them. Queets absolutely doing work at the moment. Got anti infantry. Right, there we go. Easy as that. Didn't take as many as much losses as the game said I would. Yeah, seven losses. Queek with 50, Storm Vermin 18 each, Wallfire Throw getting 10, Rat Ogre's not really doing much, but that's fine, they were all, they were spears, I didn't want to charge them in. So, food at 6, gain some more loot, Grand Banner of Clan Superiority, what is that? Plus melee attack, plus 5 melee attack. For an assigned unit, I will put that on the rat ogres. So, with the Skaven, I can put food into it and basically upgrade to a certain level. So, I want to keep it above 41. So, I'll loot and occupy to level 2. So, capture, we got 8 warp stone for that maintain one province 
one full province. So next will be Scrag Hole. So let's do that. And then let's put in the clan pit because we want to make more units. Right, so Queek, you can have Blade Master again. Right. There is not much more we can do. So we're at mighty minus 13 food for this one. Colonization's minus 20. So yeah, there's not a lot we can we can really do. So right. End the turn. So construction complete at Dawn's Light. We will upgrade that to level two. We'll send Quick down here to do a treasure hunt on this. Hopefully there's no pesky elf things things here. Just units recruited. We're at minus eight. Why is that? Provincial instability. That's fine. Clan Mordkin. Would you like, like an on aggression you. pact? I'm not Whoa. thinking just yet, Dad. Yes. You won't want trade though, I which is it. fine. I'd quite like trade with Zlatlan, to be honest. Because they don't hate me. Which is odd. You'd think the lizardmen would, would hate me being a rat. But never mind. So, a quick end turn. We'll do, uh, ensure that we've constructed the layer, which is just completed at you a deck. Here we will get, I mean, we, I might get the hidden layer for sort of missile troops. It is a tier 4, so it will have to go here. Yes, let's put that in. For the time being, anyway. Right, move to Scrag Hole. Okay, we will treasure hunt. So, although the city is uh, only a recent addition to many desirable ruins across the world, it is obvious that you are not the first to search this place. Much to your dismay, someone has already picked it clean, leaving only a set of tracks leading away from the city. So, we will follow the tracks. And we got nothing, just camp 8 map movement range. Okay. So that's a, a thing added into the game, which is actually, it's actually quite nice that you can do that. So, not a lot we can still do, so, can't trade with you. You don't want to trade either, that's fine. We'll end the turn. We're not getting any food, but we're not losing any food at the moment. We're just staying. Clan Molder, you want... No. Don't do it. The reason I didn't want an unaggression pack with them is because I'd quite like to take the caverns of Sotek after I've took Saw Sir Pindar. So, Scrag Hole, we will just colonize it at level 1. So, issue a commandment. So, exploitive planning gives as food, gives corruption, minus 30% tax rate, which is quite a lot. Uh, recruitment cost, construction cost and growth. I think we're going to put this one in for the time being. So, a lot of the buildings give us sort of corruption or untainted. We are going to put in this building. It is uh, Rattling Warrens. Just for more growth. 
just while we kind of start off. So, uh, Blade Master again. So, like, the Skaven Corruption, it's still low. We're not really affecting it at the moment. <coughs> Clan Molder, what would you like? You'd like a non-aggression for 300. I really want that because I want that ritual site. Um, no. You are busy. No, you are not besieging them. So ensure that the nest layer has been constructed. So we're at minus one because we've got three settlements and army upkeep, but we've only got three kind of food coming in a turn. So uh, we can do a right dominating scheme, which is gives us food, gives us growth, gives us public order and gives us recruitment. So at the moment that is not bad i am going to recruit so i'm going to change this i think to marshall planning just for the minute and this will cost me three thousand uh it'll have a cooldown of 20 and it'll give me it'll last for five turns so, I'm going to perform this. And I am going to just end the turn, just to see where this Clan Molder army kind of goes. And it stayed there. Okay, so recruitment costs for Warp Fire Thrower, Warp Lightning Cannon and Doom Wheels. Unluckily, I cannot recruit any of them. So, we'll get four clan rats with shields. We'll see if anybody wants to trade with us. No, you are improving. You are Warpstone. defensive allies with Clan Mordkin. That is not good. Flatland. You don't want to trade either. So I do know Fortress of Dawn will probably be here on these three islands. Oh no, wait, they're here. Ridiculous. Building up uh, an army. Spices. This isn't a very inhabitable climate for us, so we don't really want to go over there. Clan Molder. You want an non aggression pack? You know what? I'm fine. I'll take it. Oh, now they're... That's... That's fine. So... We have constructed this. So I'm going to put in some defences. And upgrade the nest nursery for more growth. And then I'm going to put in... Just uh, four units of night runners, and then I think where we're gonna go after that is I don't really know. I I'm not really sure where I'm going to go if I'm honest. Okay, so. They either got pushed back, 
before they've sacked it. I don't really know what happened there, to be honest. Okay, let's just upgrade. I'm going to upgrade those two. We'll just see what's happened over here. Okay, so it looks like they did go in for a siege, uh, but failed. So I'm going to go in for a siege. Unless this army comes across, I'm not really too bothered. They have only got Skaven slaves though, that kind of says everything. So they are coming across. in somewhere clan Mulder are pulling back I'm quite intrigued as to where this army is going and where that army is going are they at war with each other fortress of dawn are at war with Latland, so they could be going to fight them Okay, if they come for Dawn's Light, I will have to kind of turn around and go back after them. It is looking that way. I might have to break this siege and go and take care of this army. Talakwa have declared war on me. Is this... Talakwa's army, what are you doing? Recruit a lord. I might have to actually. So here on the recruit lord skin, the loyalty that I was on about earlier. So when I recruit them, he's going to have between three and eight loyalty, between one and six, between one and six. I would love you because what fire throwers, what lightning cannons, and doom wheels, but. I may have to. Because there's a chance that they could rebel against me. I am going to go for him. So he's got one. One loyalty. Which is not very good. But. If I give him some troops. That should make him happy. It should up his loyalty. I've got some... Things to die, die. Um, siege towers but I can't go in just yet so let me end the turn and just see what happens so they've gone in and attacked that Zlatlan army and won gone in, attacked it again and killed it and won and then come back towards me Clan Mulder have pulled back to Caverns of Sotek, that's fine. <clears throat> so, capture and occupy the Caverns of Sotek. And I get 13 warp stones. Oops. Um, pay them their dues. So, he's now up to three. Let's 
me upgrade that and get some night runners. It's not a great um, army. Can I? Yeah, let's go in for this siege. Okay, so... Uh, you two can drop that. You can... Get that, you can get that. What, what? Right, you're gonna go... On an attack there. You are gonna go on an attack there, and you are going to attack here. My night runners will accompany that. My rat ogres will go here. What fire thrower? I'm just gonna hide you. And Queek. I'm gonna go with the rat ogres to the gate. Right, start battle. Spread them out. So, sending everybody forward. Rat ogres are getting wrecked at the moment. That's not good. Stupid elf archers. And unfortunately for them, I can do this. So I'm now in behind their city. My clan rats are doing okay against these spears. Just doing what I needed them to do. Because then I can get them on the walls nice and easily. Here we go. On the walls everywhere it looks like. I think my rat ogre is still being shot. They are. How are they still being shot? Okay, they have broken the walls. Clan rats, get up. Rat ogres are in. You get onto the walls as well. So unfortunately for the elves, their walls aren't really doing much because I'm now in behind them. I've got my rat ogres as well now. Queeks in. I should be careful with my rat ogres. Queek's getting in there as well. Do you know what? Have some help. Have some more rat clan rats in. Where are my rat ogres? They are going to die, so... Oh, they're running away. Never mind. I was going to say, let me just pull them back. For the vermin tied. Kill, kill, kill rats, go. 
my rat ogres are running away, so yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. Good job that, that we have so many rats, to be honest. Uh, night runners, let me just pull you. Let me just pull you all in. Get them, rats. So my rat ogres, I'm just going to bring them out of the way, where they're not going to get killed. Let's uh, spawn in more rats. They do degrade over time, but with the amount of damage you can do, they are so good. Come on, Queek, get up there. I don't really want to lose the rat ogre, so I'm just gonna kind of stand you there out of the way. They look like they're all breaking. Yep. Victory. Victory, yes, yes. Decisive victory. So we lost 258. Deployed 2,500. But like I said, we, we go for numbers rather than for quality. I didn't lose anything, I don't think, so... So, gain 10 food from that. Uh, gain some loot. Um, we're going to loot and occupy at level 1. Um... We are going to get rid of that, actually. And then I... Well... I'm going to go... I am going to go for that, because I do want to open up this top row. Right, quick head taker. Talisman, physical resistance, not bad. Got some clan rats. Right, let me end the turn just there. So, we have got no chance apparently. I've got clan rats. I've got night runners. I've got clan rats. I've got my. They've got more archers than anything, so I'm gonna put some into the menace below. Because what I want to try and do is take out their archers with the menace below. If not, we will have to take quick background to go and kill them. However, so let me just uh, gamble with that. Okay, so let me pop those there. Night runners, right, start deployment. We will start battle. We have got Pestilent Breath and Blessed with Filth, which are... Um, that's like a breath, it's quite nice. And Pestilent Breath is like an augment which drops everything for them. So, let's just fast forward. They are going to want to skirmishers, which is kind of what elves do, I guess. Come on, get closer. Right. And attack. 
Knight Runners bring you in. Skaven Slaves bring you in. I will spawn this just here. Don't run away. Let me put that on for you. Okay, so let me just do this breath just there. Is he going to do it? Come on. Come on. You can do it. Please do it. Oh, nice. Right. Spawn some more clan rats in. So, pop in some blessed with filth. Like I said, we are just trying to pretty much outnumber them now. There's no way I'm going to win in a combat like this. They are too strong, but pestilent breath. We will pop that just here. We'll put some more clan rats at the back. Okay, where is my plague priest guy? I can't quite get that off. Can I get it off? Just. You know what? Get it off just there, look. Oh, that was nice. That did so much damage. Get some more clan rats off just here. We're not doing bad, actually. Come on, kill there. If I can kill their lord, that'll really help me. 956. He's not doing great, to be fair to him. We are just mobbing them at the moment. I need to get some rats behind here, like this. They aren't going to move. Yes. Yes. I might win this, actually. come back that's not good I've got two more uses of clan rats well two more uses of the menace below let me get one just here yes good 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 I'm 
getting them all in hand, like near enough all in hand to hand combat now. They all seem to be breaking. I've got one more. One more left. And where I'm going to put it is just behind this full archer unit. Come on. Yes. Caught that. They have all started to break. Whew. So I had to use more menace below. But heroic victory. I deployed about 500 more than them. We lost... I probably lost a little bit more, but their units are so much better than mine that that was... So, how much food did we gain? We gained seven. It's not bad. Uh, got some loot from it. I got a spectre of stability. We gained a rank. So, we are going to uh, enslave for more food. Where are they going to go? They're probably going to just run away now. Which is fine. Then, they're, they're no good just running away. They're not going to... So, ensure the nest layer. Ensure that uh, Assassin's Hideout or an Overseer's Lookout has been built. Occupy, loot, or raise one settlement. Spectre of Stability, income from second settlements. Nice. Okay, so his loyalty now is at four, so he's happy. We've encountered the last defenders. Okay, we are losing three a turn. Four from settlements, two from armies. So we do need to look at, well, I think raiding provides food, yeah. So we should go and finish this army off. It is an ambush. We have got menace below. I am just going to auto resolve that. That will give us some more food. Six. And we will uh, enslave again. So that's Greg Hall. We'll give them 45 fortified entries. Death Glow Bombardiers, Warp Fire Thrower, and Poison Wind Glow Bombardiers. Weapon Burrow. Um, I'm actually going to go for that, I think. Let me put in that. I'm going to move Queek. Oh, I need to get... Sure, give me trade. Okay, they won't give me trade. Nobody will give me military access. You'll give me trade. Military access? You give me military access, but not a trade agreement. Okay, well they've given me military access, so what I'm going to do with Queek is I'm going to send him off. I'm going to send Queek off on a raiding thing against uh, Talakwa. I'm probably going to just sack a couple of their settlements. 
Right, this is my grace here. You can have pestilent breath and upgrade. The vermin tide. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I don't. Uh, no, I'm not going to go for that just because I've got the menace below. Yeah. Um, extended effect duration. Sure, have that. Right, you can come back here. And we'll put that back to construction cost. Torso Pinder. So, there we go. Our corruption is now spreading. Um, I'll leave this guy to kind of just keep public order in check because I will get um, rebellions and stuff and I'll send Queek head taker just to kind of get me food and stuff okay they've taken the golden tower I was gonna go and sack that but fine no problem Talakwa is kind of declaring war on everybody bit stupid Right, so ensure that one of these buildings has been sort of built. But that is where I'm going to call it, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. This is a really, really good sort of fun game. So I'm going to kind of leave it there. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and... Okay, he got 2,500 money and 1,500 experience just for going in the sea. So, yeah, uh, if you've enjoyed, please leave a like and I will see you in the, uh, in the next one. Um, take care. Bye-bye.